Today we're designing a gradient look, kind of a logo using our Canva. This is your 2D and this is your 3D look. So let's jump in and do this. From Canva, you're going to look for a logo template. We're going to use a blank template and we're going to create a new one. Then you're going to go to your elements and you're going to search for an element under your frames and you're going to click on see all and you're going to look for all. So because the company's name is Olivia Technologies, you can use the alphabet O or you can use this O. I like this O because it's kind of round and nice. But if you scroll down, you can get an alphabet O as well. So you move it and you size it to the way that you want. And once you are happy with your sizing, you then go and you look for your gradient. So you type gradient over there. And then you look for these kind of gorgeous looking graphic gradients. And you scroll down until you find the one that you'd like to use. For your gradient look and feel. So there's different kinds that you can use like this one. Oh my goodness, look how gorgeous this one is. So I'm going to drop it in there. See, we can use that one, but for the purpose of the exercise, I did not use that one, but it's an option. So that's how you um, play around and you tweak until you find the gradient that you want to work with. Like this one, dark one, the company's um, branding color that you're working with is a dark gradient you can use that one it, it's this one you just click and you drag and you put it on the uh, our frame so if you don't like the way it's sitting you just click on it once and you click on crop and you can crop it to where you want it to be like there and you click on done and your design is done and next you just press T for text and then you type the company name. So we're going to use um, the Genty Sans font and we're going to type the company name and then you change the color. So I'm going to change color and I'm going to follow the theme of our photo. I'm happy with that. So once the color is selected, or once the text is selected, then you click on effects and you go and you look for the curve effect so that you can move the text to follow the O like that. Once it's done, you click on the canvas itself and you change the color to the black background and there's your 2D logo is done. You can click on download and you can download it without transparent um, at the beginning so that you can share the 2D version of it. But for purposes of our photo P um, mockup, we're going to click the transparent and we're going to go and download. You can use softwares like Remove BG if you don't have the Pro version. If you'd like to play around with the Pro version, you can click on the link on the description below and you have 30 days to play around and see if you like it. Once it's downloaded and you're happy, you're going to jump in on Photo P and you're going to look for the Photo P's, the mockup that you, you're going to be using. So always look for the PSD file and load the PSD file on your Photo P. Awesome. Once it's done loading, you're going to click on layers so that you can load the logo. You double click where it says logo here, you hide your text and you can you close the layers and you go to file, open and place and you go and you look for your um, logo that you've downloaded, the one that we did together is this one and you load the logo like that, you click and you drag, size it to be centered and then you go on file and you convert it to smart object and you wait for the tool to convert it and voila there's your 3d logo with your gradient look and feel 
and it's got that beautiful 3D effect. All you then do now is you file and you export as any uh, format that you'd like, preferably PNG, and then it's off, it's done, it's finished. Thank you for joining me. If you like content like this, click on the next video to go check and see how you can use another mockup, um, like the store mockup, to see how you can place your logo.